Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today I've got quite an interesting conversation to have about, well, plan maintenance. So over the last, gosh, maybe more than a year, we've not done any plan maintenance in Azure that's required a reboot. Uh, some technology that we put in place called uh, VM preserving updates. And what this ends up doing is it means we can do sort of our under the covers maintenance uh, without impacting customer VMs, right? And so customers had to, of course, do their own maintenance if they were patching or what have you to their to their running VMs, but we were able to update the host without that. Um, now, in that amount of time, uh, because we do expect we'll need to do uh, uh, maintenance with the reboot at some point, we've actually built a bunch of technology to make sure this was much, much easier. So uh, Ziv has been in charge of, of building, and so we're gonna see an awesome demo. Uh, and so the gist of this is we basically shifted from customers being told, here's a window, and then we sort of reboot them, right? And, and we pick week, we used to pick weekends and so on and, and try and avoid and, and um, you know, what we learned is some customers, that was great timing, some customers, terrible timing. And so the change that we've put in place is now we will enable customers to pick their own time. Is that right? Yeah, and so, even more, and, actually. <laughs> and even more. And even more. So, Zib, why don't you walk us through a little yeah. bit about what you've built here and what this, what this will help customers uh, be able to do. Sure. So the experience has three parts. Okay. The first is better communication. So it's not just an email to the subscription admin. Now you can uh, actually create uh, activity log alerts and configure alerts to get more recipients to this email or text messages. I see. Or even webhook to automate with whatever platform. So you like have. right now, you know, we don't have plan maintenance, you know, going out right now, but well, right now customers could we happen to oh. have one oh. in one of our uh, canary clusters. It's a test one. Let's it's just a be clear. Test one. Yeah, Let's yeah. just be clear. Right. So the this is everyone's like, what? Don't Why don't I know? We have we have one that's set up that allows you to go test it. Correct. And so it allows you to go configure these notifications and play with this experience so that customers know that when we do have the real one, they're all set up and ready to roll. Is that right. correct? So okay. exactly. So okay, first step, make sure you know how configure how to configure activity log alerts. And uh, so where have you gone here? Sorry, you've already So you, I'm part of the, I'm You're like three inside, steps ahead of no, me. No, okay. It's so impressive. One step at a time. Okay. I'm looking at the Azure monitor. I'm looking to configure okay, so Azure monitor you went in and now you clicked on the And alerts. I configure a new alerts. Okay, great. And the alert I call it a maintenance notification, but the important point is that you see that the um, alert is set type maintenance. Maintenance. Uh, across services all regions, of my resources in this, resources, uh, all services. and I'm taking uh, the action group called personal notification, okay. which will send my personal email. I'll get a personal email. I'll get a text okay. message. You can, oh, you can set that up with text message too. Yes, yes. Is that right here? I need so your phone number. Okay. To, yes. okay, go ahead. Put it in. So, um, so you go to uh, action groups. Action groups. Cool. Personal notification. The personal notification. There you go. One uh, SMS, one email. I see it. Oh, yes, and you can see my Hotmail account, my text message, and do you really want me to add yours? Fine. Yeah, you don't need okay. to share my, my right. phone number, Next time. I think. But uh, basically in terms <laughs> Not of- Not that I don't mind, please. In please. terms of uh, channels, we have email, text, and webhooks. Okay, great. Right. And Next, then webhooks, of course, with something like EventGrid can do pretty much anything. Anything, yeah, yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, still in Azure Monitor. Okay, great. Oh, uh, gotta, let's let's yeah, cancel this cancel one. Cancel that out. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so that's how you set it up. So, customers who are like, hey, look, I'm nervous. I want to know when this is happening. I don't, you know, I the wrong email is my co-admin, whatever. This now, you can configure it to know no matter what. Correct. Perfect. Actually, we, we've heard that in many cases, the, the guy who is the subscription admin is sometimes not the guy who's tracking this. Totally. He's just the guy with the credit card. So, everyone needs to go do this immediately yep. because this basically will alert you uh, right away. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. Next, there'll be a plan maintenance dashboard, okay. which is currently not active on this subscription. Okay. But the important thing is like, so from the dashboard, basically I'll be able to go and see all the VMs which are going to be impacted by this uh, maintenance. I see. Okay. Uh, another easy way to do it now is just to look at the list so of So wait, VMs. that's in the which dashboard? That was in the dashboard under that Azure Monitor, there's going to be a dashboard that plan says plan maintenance. maintenance. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Now I switch to the VM Blade. Okay. Where I see all of my VMs. I just filtered for one of one of my subscriptions. Okay. And guess what? I have a new column, a new default column Ooh. called maintenance state. Look, you got two VMs ready I to got, go. I got two VMs ready to go, and actually two VMs that which have completed already completed. And then the others basically were saying don't the not others impacted. Are not part of this maintenance. They're not part of this. Yes. Got it. So clicking on the VM itself, 
I uh, go and I can see a new ribbon, say, hey, you can start maintenance between those two dates. And again, this is a test cluster. This is a test, so, so it'll be actually a longer period yes, of time than two days. We are looking for yeah, yeah. more than yeah. Yeah, few more, weeks. More, yeah, more than a week, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, Clicking this one, I get the actual timeline, okay, the look exact at this. timeline. Got it. Yeah. So basically, what uh, Azure tells me here oh, is that good. I can complete maintenance in this window. Otherwise, Azure will uh, we'll force schedule do this update. Yeah. Okay, got it. So clicking the start maintenance here. It's like a little bug there in the experience, but that's fine. All right. And so you started this. Now. I started this. This is still, the in, VM, pre this is still in preview, right? That's yeah. Uh, the VM is uh, currently being redeployed. Okay. Uh, and um, so, so now what happens here? Just to just to walk me through this. So now what you've just done? You basically said, "Great, I've scheduled the maintenance at this point, right?" Um, uh, so now this is going to take a reboot. Yep. In Twenty minutes. Come back up, Less. and it will then be moved to a. Updated. Machine that's already been updated. So Correct. physical machine that's already been updated. Yep. So basically, the f it allows you to control your reboot. Maybe you go on there, you do other maintenance on the VM itself, so you can sort of organize it and clean and do everything all at the same time. Correct. Perfect. Actually, we we heard customers asking for this feature because they have a single instance yeah. VM running in production. That's right. They want to be careful because with it. they need to negotiate the exact window with their. Yeah, they want customers. to fail over to or their they customers want to fail over. totally. Actually, one or, customer or their us, downtime is Friday night versus. Yes, they want uh, to take down everything. Yeah, at that's the same right. Time. We, we've heard that by quite quite yeah. a bit. So, so um, okay, that's very cool. So, is there a way to script that though? So, if I want to not just do it in the portal, can I do it through scripting? Of course, whether you use a PowerShell or CLI, Perfect. or even the REST API. Yeah, you can uh, discover. You the can discover and script it. So you can write initial. your own tools around this and so yep. on. Okay. Very cool. You want to give it and a try? And to discover, I, well, click the button, you mean? Ooh, click the button, write the script. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not, not going to write a script In right production. now. In production. I'm not going to write a script right now. Uh, I mean, I'm very good at writing script. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Point but. is. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ziz. Sorry. Point is, we want to give customers an option to play around with this. Yeah. Uh, OK, so, so, so yeah, this is important. So we don't have any plan maintenance going right now, right? Correct. Um, uh, and, and like I said, we actually haven't had any for a while, right? Yep. Oh, more than a year. And, uh, and so we basically have said, look, we're going to get this work done before the next maintenance goes out. Yep. Um, so, so we're ready at this point. And so what you're basically saying is what we've decided to do is we're going to run a test run, right? Correct. And so, so there's no plan maintenance going through right now, so no one get worried about this. Yep. But we got a test run coming up. Uh, at what, the beginning of October, right? The first week no, of October? No, actually, the last two weeks of September. So the maintenance is the last two weeks of September. Yep. So people need to go in now yep. and get a VM deployed in only one, and so specific region, right? So yep. West Central, US. US West Central. US West Central. Yep. And we will be running a, basically a, a maintenance experiment there. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a real update package, right? Yep. But it's a, 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 and so customers should go in, get a VM deployed in West Central, Connect to the activity, go into the Azure monitor, Correct. connect to the activity logs as you've just walked through. And will we have a yep. document that sort of explains all yeah, this? Yeah, the document will go live before that. Okay, perfect. Uh, they'll go in, get the monitor. So then, what, September 17th or what have you? Uh, is that right? Gosh, it's. Coming up, it's coming, coming, coming. Okay, then yeah. they'll see the notification, the alert, yep, the on their email or yep. their text message or whatever, yep. um, and then they'll have that window to go yep. do the actual reboot, and they get a chance to play with it. Yep, and if they've missed the first day, yeah. they actually will see that the VM by default will be scheduled for maintenance. For maintenance. Uh, so if I will that be in, another notification that they'll get at that yeah, point? Yeah, we're thinking of running a few more as test notifications for customers to to experiment. Okay, with. great. So we will just call them. So we need people to like go and try this. Go get go get now. Go yeah. get going now. Yeah, okay. go get it. So and, get a VM go in West Central, one VM, and go play with this. Let us know what you think and get the alerts going, and then uh, we'll we'll and do you have a way for people to give feedback to you, or what's the deal? Uh, I think the regular whatever user voice or just send us feedback directly or send Corey feedback mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at TWC. That's good, yeah. So yeah, there you go. So if you've got questions, comments, or feedback, hit us up on hashtag Azure TWC. Are you, do you have a Twitter handle? Can we get you on the, yeah. on the Twitter? Yeah, uh, Z-I-V-R-A-F. Okay, and you're running the feature, so it's all, yeah. it's all up to you. So awesome. The great experience, uh, super informative, really important for people to go try this out. Um, uh, it's coming up here, so in the next like week or two, uh, or next yep. week roughly, they need to need to get going on this. So, go try it out. Get a VM deployed in West Central. Play with this. Sign up for these. Uh, uh, sign up for these alerts and um, uh, have a good time with that. So, all right. Till next time. And then uh, we will uh, in maintenance in the future. We'll come back and give people a heads up. Yep. So, with that, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Ziv. Great feature. Great capabilities. Hope. We never use them, but obviously, I'm glad they're there for, for if we need to. So yep. with that, thank you so much, and thank you. Have a wonderful Tuesday, and 
or whatever day it is. And uh, thanks so much. Bye bye. You ready? Always. So I'll kick it off and explain the background. Does that make sense? And then I'll hand it over to you. Go for it. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Good? All right. Whoa. Oh. Blah, blah. Is this the time where yeah. yeah. <laughs> the tarantula was denied a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh. <clears throat>